Hey everybody, what's up gang? It's Will again, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in today uh, to another hopefully awesome devotional. And I wanted to talk to us about uh, something that's really, really easy for us to get into, and uh, it's called bitterness. And if you, there's a video, I don't know if it's been posted or not, but it deals with uh, James 1, 19 through 20, that kind of dealt with a situation where I had, and, and it kind of bring in a little bit of bitterness, but I would encourage you to watch that or when it comes out to be able to check it out. But um, it, bitterness, we're going we're gonna to get into this and I'm going to tell you a, uh, an event in my life where I allowed bitterness to uh, almost swallow me whole and what it did to me. And, uh, and we'll be in the book of Ephesians today. Uh, we're going to be in chapter 4, verses 31 through 32, the tail end of uh, actual Ephesians chapter four, but just the importance of what that means to us as believers and as people who are trying to live Christ-like and, and just what bitterness can do to a human being. But as always, let us pray and we can get started. Father God, we just thank you so much for um, today. Thank you for the chance to come together to study your word. This important uh, section, Ephesians, God, chapter four, 31 through 32, God, bitterness, and what it means to us as believers and how it affects us as believers if we let it get root. Father God, I just pray for your hand and your wisdom as we study this to, to really understand what happens when we don't forgive and forget and to move on, right? God, that these things oftentimes really do affect us and, and they can create ailments in our bodies and we can get sick and you know, bleeding ulcers and all kinds of these things because we just hold on to this rage that doesn't even need to be there god father god we just pray for your wisdom as we study this together today god i thank you so much and this we pray in jesus name amen all right so first off what is bitterness right what what what, what is what is this bitterness that we're talking about what does it do so why is it so important to avoid it, first off, right? Well, bitterness is defined as anger and disappointment of being treated unfairly, right? Someone did something to you, someone hurt you, and you hold on to it, right? So as we're going through this, if there's something in your life that's been eating at you or you've held on for a real long time or still hold on to today, um, I hope this is a blessing to you to understand what what it means to, to, to give it to God and ask God to help you forgive, right? And so I want to tell you a story about when I was a, when I used to work as a contract officer for Social Security office, um, I worked for a company that was attached to the, the security office. And so I had like 50 different bosses. But we worked for a group that was... Um, they were they were kind of secured. They were kind of police, and we were officers inside there. We protected the office, and but they were the guys that whenever we had problems, we would send the send the problems people or whatever to them, and they would handle them. Well, he they would come in every so often, and there was one gentleman who used to come in, and he was really really something to to behold. This guy uh, really just first impressions. He was deep under my skin. I did not care for this guy. And I used to watch him racially profile people in the, in the office I'm working and I could watch him do it. And it used to blow my mind. And, and he was just, there was no love for people. He would go from zero to a hundred when somebody would say something he didn't like. And it's like, yo, man, you didn't have to be all that. Well, there's a situation that happened in the office and my team kind of got pulled into it. And so we had to meet up with our company boss and him and, and his boss and what it turned into was um, kind of a slander against me and my me and my team. And one of the things he comments he made was like, and you he pointed at me and you're really hot, you're really rough around the edges. And I was like, What? I'm who? And it really caught me, it really stung me. And I'm and I'm looking at this guy going, I know who you are, I know what you do every time you come in here, and you're calling me out. And I immediately, from that point on, did not like that dude. I'm going to use the word real, real, I'm going to use the word hate. I hated that guy. I did not like him. I mean, he, 
he stung me and I did not care for him. And I got, I hated the fact that I got pointed out watching what he did in there. And I'm going, dude, who are you? Who are you to say this? And because I was, he was technically kind of above us and our boss, nothing I said mattered. And so I'm kind of dealing with this really true unfair treatment, right? We were treated, my team was treated differently because of him, but he was the worst of all of us, right? In, in so to speak. And I never once thought it. maybe I could be a little rough around the edges. And, you know, people have told me that before, but in this particular case, no, you have no right to say that. You know, you don't judge me, you judge yourself. And so I kind of held on to this for the year or so I worked there. I hated this guy. Oh, when he'd come in, I'd just, I don't want nothing to do with you. And so I let this little seed, right, this little thing of what he did to me, and it grew and grew and grew and grew and grew until just about planting me into the ground. Like the roots were growing through my feet into the ground. And I, I mean, I, I had anxiety every time this guy would show up and stuff like that. And he was literally getting free rent in my head. But I want to get read this set of scriptures to you that if I would have read them back then, it probably would have helped me. <laughs> but we're going to be in Ephesians 4, 31 through 32. It says, get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, and slander along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. I didn't want to forgive this guy because he had no business saying what he said to me. And I'm just telling you where my mind was. Now, I wasn't really, really heavy in my walk with Jesus. I went to church occasionally and stuff like that. So I wasn't really in the word like I was supposed to be. Um, but, and had I been, this probably would have been something the Holy Spirit would have said, hey, man, you remember that Ephesians? Maybe chapter four, you want to want to read around the tail end of that. And I probably could have had that. But what happened with me is, and I want to show you. So the bitterness was there. When he sat there and, and said that, my immediately first reaction was rage. I, are you kidding me right now? And then I went to my anger. This guy is bananas for saying, how dare he say that, right? And then what would happen is after the situation left, I'm sitting there and then I would, I would tell my buddy, you know, cause he was eating at me. And I never once went to God about any of this. I just let it swallow me up. I let this, this fish swallow me whole. Right? It's like a Jonah. I just got swallowed whole. I'm sitting in there because of this, this anger I had for it. And I remember I would slander him. I would slander the company he worked for and all the guards that would come in after him. Because I didn't trust him. I wasn't going to trust them. And so it just grew into these little sprouts where I couldn't stand. And so I, I slandered this guy every chance I got. Somebody bring his name. Yeah, that guy's garbage. Right? And I'm, this is true. This was this. I'm, and I'm being completely honest with you guys. So you understand what happens when bitterness gets a hold of you, right? And so I was just a rage and anger. I, I honestly, I, I remember thinking, man, I could go outside and really, I honestly thought about beating this guy up. I was like, man, we should just say, you know what? Let's take our gun belts off and figure out who's the best. I thought that several times. I even told the guys I was working with. And it turned from there into um the slander and I would slander him and I would slander the company like I said before and I just oh the malice I hated this guy I really wanted to beat him up I could not believe and it was all over him saying something everybody knew who he was I mean the, the guy wasn't the greatest officer we ever come across but because he thought he was something special and he's the boss and you know and I'm watching this it, I just I had this hate for this guy right and instead of being kind and compassionate to him and forgiving him for what he said, you should have said, man, that was just, God, that guy's crazy. You know what? Oh, well, people know who I am in this office. Because what I forgot was the people in the office, they loved us. They knew who we were. Were we rough around the edges? Oh, yeah, we had to be. We worked in an office where our job was to secure and save people's lives. And so was I a little rough? Sure. So was the rest of the team. But because of that, people respected us and knew we weren't we weren't something to trifle with, and they knew we had their safety at heart. And instead of him saying that, you know, and I'm you, I'm rough around the edges, you're rough around the edges. I should have just worried about what the people thought, because at the end of the day, they would have spoke up for me, right? 
But instead, I let this build and build. And for a year and a half, I sat here with this hate for this guy. And it finally it dawned on me. Why? I forgive him. You know what? It, I, I, it, people like that tend to have a come up in somewhere. And then people realize who they are. And instead of just allowing that process to happen, and instead of praying for him and saying, God, I pray for this guy. Help him. Help me maybe be a light for him. You know, may God help me be the, 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 the solution to, to a problem or God help me. But I never once went to God about any of this. And I allowed that form, that, that, that seed to grow and grow until the point I hated a person that was just, we all fall short of God's glory, right? He's a sinful person just like me. And I hated him because he pointed me out and then pointed himself out. And I allowed that anger and that bitter to just enrage me. So guys, I'm telling you, you know, and I've said this in, in a recent, uh, several of them, don't let the sun go down on your, on your anger. The devil wants to eat that up. I'm serious. If you feel you got to give it to God, don't allow something like that. A guy who didn't even know I was mad at him, probably didn't even care if he did. He's got, he's getting free room, right? Free rent up in my head. And he didn't even care. He didn't even know I was that angry at him. Right? Instead of just going, he is who he is and I am who I am. Let's move on, God. Here I am. Right? Remember, that stuff is not good. Bitterness leads to, to all kinds of forms of physical things that can happen to you. You know? Because you, you're just so bent up and raged. And don't let those things get to you guys. In all seriousness, don't let the sun go down. Give it to God. If someone's wronged you, go talk to them. Like, I, I should have went to that guy and said, I don't appreciate what you did, man, because I've seen what you've done in here. Instead, I just sat there and let it fume in my head. Right? Don't do that, guys. I'm telling you, it's it's better to forgive and forget than it is to hold on to. I, I mean, a year of this where I really want to just beat this guy up and it wasn't, what did he do to me? He said something. Right? Everybody had come to find out, I already knew who he was anyway, right? So I did all that for no reason. I should have just focused on my job and, and had fun at my job the best I could what was going on. We already working in a high intense area. Why make it worse, right? And I did. So again, I just just really want to reiterate the fact that it's, o, it's okay to be upset when somebody says something. It's okay to think you're treated unfairly because it happens, but don't let it, don't let it engulf you. You know, give it to God. That's what he, that's, God wants those things. Believe it or not, I know people don't think so, but God wants those things. He wants to help us grow and be better. So again, I just thank you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, by all means, hit us up in the comment section. We just thank you for tuning in to us and listening to me ramble. And uh, I know our editor, uh, Jonah Wallen, loves, lo just loves doing these things and he loves sending them out to you. And so we just thank you guys for your time and your patience for us. And we just absolutely love you. And we will see you guys for the next one.